Welcome to Roaring News, a Tiger Television production, celebrating our homeschool community one story at a time. Reporting from our news desk here in beautiful Yardley, Pennsylvania, let us enlighten your minds in five, four, three, two, one. Good morning. Today is Friday, December 20th, and it is a day three. The sky is sunny and the Temperature is expected to have a high of 35 degrees. Today's main lunch is crunchy fish sticks with fresh sliced bread. And the alternate is cheese pizza or pepperoni pizza. We'd like to wish a very happy birthday to Aiden Van Nostrion in kindergarten and Bryn Modzinski in second grade. Celebrating on Saturday are Colin Eastrock in third grade and Mrs. Rossi, our kindergarten teacher. On Sunday is Soman Bajwa's birthday from fifth grade. We have no school next week, so we'd like to wish an early happy birthday on mon- on Monday to Benjamin Gladstone in second grade, Lucas Ferry in fourth grade, Rachel Fitchell in third grade, and Sarah Krasnecki in fifth grade. Next Tuesday is Katie Graham's birthday, or next Thursday is Katie Graham's birthday from fifth grade, and next Friday is an, an, an Adida Porter. Porteru, um, in first grade, and Nicole Namiko in second grade, and Violet Lind in first grade. On that Sunday, December 29th, we have Anna Delusha in first grade, Caleb Culp in fourth grade, Chase Culp in fourth grade, and Solomon Gross in third grade. Monday, December 30th, is Peyton Worth's birthday from 5th grade, and on New Year's Eve, we celebrate Thomas Road in 4th grade and Mrs. Sessman, our 1st grade teacher. Happy birthday to all of you, and we'll share January birthdays and half birthdays when we return from winter break. Edgewood will be closed over the winter break. Please remember to check that you have your coats, gloves, hats, lunch boxes, book bags, instruments, holiday goodies, and anything else that you may want before you leave today. The joke of the day is, what's the first thing an elf learns in school? I don't know. The al- alphabet. And now for a special message of holiday fun from our staff. Frosty the Snowman was a jolly happy soul with a corn cob pipe and a button nose and two eyes made out of coal. Frosty the Snowman is a fairy tale, they say. He was made of snow, but the children know how he came to life one day. There must have been some magic in that old silk hat they found. For when they placed it on his head, he began to dance around. Frosty the Snowman was alive as he could be. And the children say he could laugh or play just just the same as you and me. Frosty the Snowman knew the sun was hot that day. So he said, let's run and we have some fun. Now before I melt away. Down to the village with a broomstick in his hand. Running here and there all around the square saying, catch me if you can. He led them down the streets of town right to the traffic cop. And he only paused a moment when he heard him holler, stop. Frosty the Snowman had to hurry on his way. But he waved goodbye, saying, don't you cry. I'll be back again someday. Thumpity, thump, thump, thumpity, thump, thump. Look at Frosty go. Thumpity, thump, thump, thumpity, thump, thump. Over the hills of snow. Great job, teachers. You carry tune well. The following are pop point winners for this week. In kindergarten, Alex Rivera from Mrs. Golders' room for being an achiever. 
In first grade is Sammy Sugnick from Mrs. Kessel's room for being responsible and a hard worker. For second grade is Ad Addison Schmiff from Mrs. Murs from Mrs. Dotto's for being responsible, open-hearted, and respectful. In third grade is Michael Smith from Mrs. Marcos for being re for being respectful. In fourth grade is Jack Mick Goldrick from Mrs. Holmes for being open-hearted and respectful. And fifth grade is Kingston Ford from Mrs. Holt for being responsible and respectful. Congratulations to these winners. Please report to the office for your prize if you heard your name. And now for our words of wisdom. The holidays are a special time for gift giving. We pack the stores looking for the perfect gift for that special person in our lives. Sometimes we spend so much time, energy, and money on that perfect gift that we forget about the true spirit of giving. A gift, after all, is a way of showing love and appreciation, right? A way to show someone we care about them. Robert Louis Stevenson, author of the classic Treasure Island, says this, I am in the habit of looking not so much to the nature of the gift as to the spirit in which it is offered. Sometimes just a simple letter, poem, or card that shows love or appreciation can be the very best gift of all. So don't get let the lack of money or time stand in the way of giving the greatest gift of all, a gift of love. Remember, the best gifts are tied with heartstrings. With something to think about, make it a great day or not. The choice is yours. Please stand and join us for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please join us for the Roar's Pledge. I am a responsible, open-hearted, achieving, respectful, and safe member of the Edgewood community. I will try my hardest. I will never give up. My heart believes it, and my actions shall show it. We hope everyone has a wonderful winter break, and we'll see you next year. And happy holidays! That is all the buzz from our school news desk on this day. We hope you are feeling informed. In our tradition of words of wisdom, make it a great day or not, the choice is yours.